The Celtics have punched their ticket to the NBA Finals. Can the Mavs do the same? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back in to another episode for Just a Bet Outside. I am your host, Steven, and after a few days off in the NBA, we are back to talk some more basketball. That's right. Nice win yesterday with Andrew Nemhart. We'll go over all the weekend bets recap here in a little bit. Um, but uh, the Dallas Mavericks, one game away from sweeping the T-Wolves and making it to the finals. So if, for you guys that watch and have followed us all season long and watch that midseason video, that means we might hit three out of four futures bets because we have the Mavs to win the Western Conference at plus 1,400, along with Jokic MVP and the Mavs to win the Southwest Division at plus 170. Uh, that would be pretty sweet to hit three of four futures there. So we'll see what happens, but uh, that's pretty cool. A uh, quick reminder, MLB Best Bets video will be out after this one. It's Dinger Tuesday, so we're going to give away some money. We're going to have some fun, and we got a lot of research help as well as those best bets. So I'm ready to get started. These conference finals I know have not been uh, probably what the casual fan or the NBA wants because we might have two sweeps, but uh, there's still been some good games in this mavericks Timberwolves series. So let's get into it, but you know what that means. It's time for that dad joke. And by the way, Ryan is back. You're going to notice the video is looking great. I'm more relaxed. Life is good again, but here we go. Dad joke for today. I asked my wife if I was the only one she had been with. She said yes. All the others were nines and tens. That's pretty good. My wife sent me that, so I don't know if I should worry. But um, anyways, in this video, we're going to recap yesterday. And then we're going to talk key stats from game three and the series as a whole. And then give you our two best bets and wrap it all up with that bets recap. So hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And my goodness, I think we are like 15 short or something of 25,000 subscribers. Who will be the 25,000 subscriber? For those that have been here since the beginning, cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Me and Ryan are blown away. This is freaking awesome. And uh, I love talking sports with you guys every single day. So let's get started. And that means it's time to talk some recap. All right, here is the recap for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. All of that, it was three and three. So I won't go over detail on every single one. You guys probably don't even care about Fridays. Um, but Kyrie Irving missed out because he missed free throws. He came up short by two, and he missed three free throws in the fourth quarter. It is what it is, though. Kyle Anderson over eight and a half PRAs, easy early cash. Saturday, Nemhart over 20 and a half PRAs, one of the easiest of the playoffs. Tatum went ballistics with assists at the end of the game. We lost that one. But Sunday was the killer for me. Kyrie Irving, three plus rebounds, gets it done. Lively, six plus rebounds, which is asking nothing out of him. He should get eight, nine, ten. He gets three rebounds in nine minutes and then leaves the game hurt. He will now be out for game four. That one just hurt. It that literally hurt um, him and me. So, And then Monday, we wrap, we uh, bounced back with a nice one-unit win with Andrew Nemhart again, over 15 and a half points. An absolutely easy first half cash. Nemhart has looked good without Halliburton, that's for sure. So... Uh, we've been doing that series bet tracker. There's the record for the Eastern and the Western Conference Finals. Eastern is now over, obviously. And as you see down there in the bottom right, one win away from the Mavs future for plus 1,400 to win the West. So there's a regular season record, playoff record. There's a lot going on on this page, I know. But uh, that is the bets recap. And now let's talk some key stats. All right, let's talk some potential assists and rebound chances from the last game and the averages for the series, just to give you guys more info to help with your betting. Uh, Luca five assists on 12 potentials last game, averaging 8.7 on 14.3. Anthony Edwards is the crazy one, guys. Nine assists on nine potential assists. He had a 100% conversion rate. I know you're thinking, how do you do the math so quick? It's unbelievable. But seriously, I can't believe Edwards had that. But Kyrie Irving, uh, we talked about it. just a, lo a lesser assist uh, series for him. Four assists on five potentials, averaging a little under five on a little under seven potential assists. And then rebounds. Anthony Edwards has been an RA's uh, beast this uh, series. He had nine rebounds on 17 rebound chances last game. He had four more rebound chances than his teammate, Rudy Gobert, who had six rebounds on 13 rebound chances. And you see what they're averaging. Rudy's only averaging 7.7 .7 on 20.3 rebound chances. A ridiculously low conversion rate for Mr. Gobert. And then Cat, the guy who cannot make a shot right now, had 11 rebounds on 17 rebound chances. He's averaging 8.3 on 14.3. And then the final one, Luca, seven rebounds on 12 rebound chances last game, averaging 7.7 on 11.7 rebound chances per game. So hopefully these help you guys uh, get some winners so you guys can see who's lucky, who's not lucky, who's getting all the chances, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But those are the key stats. Now let's talk game four of the Western Conference Finals. 
All right, this segment of the show is brought to you by our sponsor, Better Bet. That's BTR Bet, the best place to find, track, analyze, and share your bets. Click that link below in the description. You have a promo code. If you use the promo code JABO, you get 30 days free plus a seven day free trial. I've heard some great things already from people that are using it. Um, really helps organize your bets, give you feedback as to what you're doing well at, what you're not doing well at, things like that. Go check that out. So, this one takes us back out to Dallas, Texas. We got the Mavericks hosting the T-Wolves with the Mavericks as a two-point favorite, and total in this game is 210. Will the Mavs close them out? Will they go to the finals? Um, in my opinion, just I'm not betting the side or a total or anything like that. I'm going to have a couple player props for you, but um, I don't think the T-Wolves go down easy. I'm going to say that. Um, but in order for them to have a chance to win, I think Anthony Edwards, well, I know Anthony Edwards, will have to be a superstar again. He's been getting locked down. He has not been playing that well. Um, but you know what? Back against the wall, if he wants to show he's a superstar, he needs to figure it out, as do his teammates, of course. Um, but I don't think they go out with a fight. I, I want to say I lean Mavs to win it, but I think it's going to be a tight game. It's never easy to eliminate a really good team like the Minnesota Timberwolves. So um, that's just my opinions on the game. We'll see what happens. We'll see what adjustments the Timberwolves coach has to, or makes because he's going to have to make an adjustment. It is hard to slow down both Luka and Kyrie right now. It has been impressive and uh, crazy to think that they might be going to the finals. That's wild. So uh, my best bets. Let's talk the first one. It is Kyrie Irving, 20-plus points. Luka, 8-plus rebounds at minus 107 on FanDuel. Both of these plays today are a half unit for me. I'm just playing it easy, playing it safe. Um, I just, I want to make two bets because I like these two bets a lot, but I don't want to put two units into this game. So Kyrie, 20 plus points. Uh, he's been awesome at home in the playoffs. So he has scored 22 or more in six of the seven home playoff games, including 33 last game against these Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, he's averaging a little over 25 points. I mean, well over this 20 point mark at home in the playoffs. Um, you guys all know how much I love this matchup. I've talked about Kyrie all series long, how he's going up against Ant, go, going up against Ant and Mike Conley and all these guys. Um, I don't see any reason why it's going to change. Uh, he's a superstar. He's really good at home. All I need him to do is have an average to slightly below average game here and score 20 points. I think he goes over his 23 and a half line, to be honest with you. Um, but there's not much more to say. We've watched him play. If you guys have been watching this series like I have and like probably everyone has, Kyrie is a mismatch. He is very tough for them to guard. He can get to the rim. And when he gets hot and hits threes, it is all over. He can make some very, very difficult shots. All I need is 20 points from him. So give me Kyrie, 20 plus points. Uh, Luca, eight plus rebounds. So this line is juiced uh, over eight and a half on some books. And it's also already at nine and a half on some books. You might think it's kind of crazy because he's only averaged 7.7 .7 rebounds per game, but some books are dropping 9.5 lines right now on 11.7 rebound chances per game. Not a ton if you need 10 rebounds to get over, right? Of course, this is an alt line. I only need 8. He had 7 rebounds last game without Derek Lively, and that's the key here. Derek Lively is not going to play this game. Um, he played about the first quarter and then got hurt, as you guys know, because I lost the bet. Um, but he's only had 8-plus rebounds in one of the three games in this series. So you're thinking, why would I take 8-plus? Why are the lines dropping? There's a reason for it, guys. They're going to play more small ball. Luka may be the best rebounder for the Mavericks on the court for a big chunk of this game. You're going to have Daniel Gafford out there, obviously, but they're going to play some small ball. You just That's just how they do it without Derek Lively sometimes. Um, and then overall, he has 8-plus rebounds in 9 of 15 playoff games, and now he gets to do it without Derek Lively. I think his rebound chances are going to go up. I think they're going to be closer to 15, um, and I just need 8 out of Luka. I think he's going to be aggressive. He knows he has to be aggressive without Derek Lively, of course. Um, because behind Daniel Goff, Gafford is not much there. So um, I, I expect some small ball lineups, that's for sure. So I think Luka can grab eight rebounds in this one. Um, and I like Kyrie, 20 plus points. Give me the two superstars together as my first best bet. And before we get to that second bet, we got to tell you about DraftKings. All right, time is running out. If you do not have an account yet with DraftKings, live in a legal state for them. This is a great time to sign up. You get two promotions right now to sign up. All you have to do is click the DraftKings uh, link below in the description, and you get a no-sweat bet up to $1,500. Guys, if you've been afraid of making that big bet, this is your chance right here. You go make a bet for whatever it is you want, 200 500 800 whatever it is, all the way up to 1500 If you lose, you get it back in bonus bets, so it's and then you also get that NBA no sweat same game parlay until every day of the playoffs through the finals. It's an incredible deal. So take advantage of it now. I mean, Kevin Hart loves it, as you can see there. He's the man. So um, again, so you got to click that link below in the description and you must be 21 years or older to gamble. 
If you have a gambling problem, call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, back to the bets. All right, my second best bet for this game. Again, it's going to be a half unit. No more superstars. We go to the role players. Give me Kyle Anderson over two and a half assists at minus 118 on DraftKings. Uh, we backed him earlier this series, and we won easily with his PRA. So I was looking to back him. This was on my radar already because after last game, you heard a coach, their coach say they should have probably played Kyle Anderson more, and I love to hear that. Is it guaranteed he's going to get more minutes? No, but I think he, when I watch the game, I think he should get more minutes anyways. He's a, he's a big body, one of their better defenders um, on Luka and those guys. Um, I'm, I'm not saying he can stop Luka, but he is one of their better defenders out there, especially off the bench. So, uh, But he has played 17-plus minutes in all three games. He's played 20 minutes in one of those games. In this series so far, he has two, five, and three assists. So he's gone over in two of the three, even with just these minutes, 17 to 20 minutes. Um, he's had 10 total assists this series and two turnovers. So he's taking care of the ball well. Uh, no reason for him not to play, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, like I said, one of their better defenders off the bench, in my opinion. So um, he's been efficient with his minutes, as we saw. He went over that eight and a half PRAs line in like, I don't even remember exactly, 10, 12 minutes, 13 minutes. I mean, it was quick. He uh, he does make an impact on the game on both sides of the ball. Um, and now we're expecting more minutes. Now, I like this bet even if he gets to 17 to 20. Again, he's gone over in two or three. If there's a chance, like the coach said, he's going to play 23, 24, 25 minutes even, probably not 25, but even 23, 24, I mean, guys, this is a bargain, this two and a half assist line, I think, in my opinion. Um, I think he could get closer to six, seven potential assists. He's been just a little under six potential assists per game this series. Um, but if he can get six, seven, I mean, I, th I like my chances. His conversion rate, four assists, so potential assists, two assists. His conversion rate was almost 70% in the regular season, so he's very efficient. He gets those assists when he gets chances. Um, so as long as teammates don't miss good shots, you know, obviously, then we're good. So I like Kyle Anderson in this low line of going over two and a half assists for the third time in four games with the hope of getting a few more minutes as well. But that's my second half unit play. Those are my two best bets. Let's get some freaking winners and let's see if the Mavs can close it out for that futures bet. So let's go check out the recap. There it is, my two best bets with Kyrie 20 plus points and Luka 8 plus rebounds as my first best bet for the alternate line, minus 107, put it together for a half unit. And then Kyle Anderson over two and a half dimes at minus 118 for my second bet. Let's get some winners. Let's get that 2 0 sweep, go on a 3 0 run. If the Mavericks win, this will be our last NBA video until we get to the finals, which I think is June 6th, uh, right in that range. So um, this has been a lot of fun. This NBA season has been incredible. Um, hopefully we can hit 25,000 subscribers, but I just appreciate all the support. If you haven't already hit that like button and also go check out that MLB video. So hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.